So big stakes, big match, all to play for. Well, all, not quite nothing, but uh, as we've already discussed, the importance of finishing top, and that's well left. Aggression, Fern Peterson. Well shouted. Well, all decided by the women's doubles, and in the early stages of this match, it's Denmark who have the lead. Eleven points to eight. I actually think they're not using the baseline a lot. You know, they, they actually play against the drift, and and they can they can quite safely lift and clear and and knowing how difficult it is to to kill it in the in the ladies' doubles, they can prolong the game and and take the edge out of the two Danish girls. But they're not really trying to do it. So I think you know, play more lifts, play more baseline game, and then you know, try to take it from there. Okay. Did well there the Danes because early in the rally, one of the shots came back via the uh, top of the net. I'm sorry, it's me <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Oh, the safe. Hanging on though. Yeah. Yeah. Matsutomo puts it away and it's Japan who edge ahead in this thrilling match. some good defensive work here from Denmark but they were hanging on 22 points to 20 Japan one set away from topping the group They were off to a 4 0 start in the opening set where Denmark they could do with a similar start to this one. a one-point lead and a three-point lead as well for Japan. It's huge. It's good coming up, Mark, Mark, Mark. Go run. Yes. Well played by the Japanese. Yeah, Matsutomo, who hasn't really been producing these. It's normally been Takahashi. Japan looking good at the moment, it has to be said. Set up 
And now 11-7 up at the interval. Japanese, they kept the pressure on Camilla the whole time. Yeah, excellent, really was. Good play. And there a drop shot comes. Again, it was Matsutomo doing it, doing the real damage. Wonderful victory for the women's doubles pair of Misaki Matsutomo and Iyaka Takahashi. The world number two in the end making it look pretty comfortable and as you say now Morton it's down to the luck of the draw for Denmark because Japan have won group D yes no exit for Denmark in second place they did qualify for the last eight but they are not where they want to be and their hopes of uh, reaching the semi-finals for the 11th time in 13 of these Sudamin Cups.